An absolutely flawless execution from the orange cat with a perfect entry that barely made a ripple. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the dive that will win him the gold medal. I'm going to show you a video editor and creator today that is AI driven and it has all your favorite AI models built in. You don't have to export files from one platform to the next. It's all in one location on a nice, easy to use video editor, making everything substantially faster, which means you can save time. As always, I have a link in the description below, but today's tool is called Pool Day AI. So we can log in. And we are going to get a screen that looks like this. And I have actually played around with this a little bit. I created projects over the last few weeks and then I was just playing around deleting them. But anyway, we can hit create video here. And now you have an option. So we can make a portrait video, a square video, a landscape, or a square. So for the sake of this video, let's make a short TikTok, Instagram stories, reels, YouTube short styled portrait video. And in the bottom right, if I move myself a little bit, you'll see it, we can click next. So let me just move myself back. And now we can do different things. Actually, let me put myself here. I'm always in the way. It's hard to place myself. Anyway, on the right here, we have an editor agent, which we can talk to. And this editor agent has the ability to literally edit the video and crop things and make it better. We also have assets here, which we can add assets. So under assets, we can upload an image or whatever we want, or we can come down here and we can click add element. When we go to add element, you're going to get a screen that looks like this. There is a lot going on, but it's a lot simpler than it looks. So we have standard elements, which just preset things you can upload, like audio, text, shapes, images, videos, or we can generate an AI audio file, an image, a voice, an actor, or a full-fledged video. So let's start with an image, okay? So like I mentioned earlier on, it has all the different models that you probably know and love already. So if we go to generate, you can see here all the different models we can choose from, and there is quite a few. So I am going to go with Nano Banana. I think it is the best image generation model at the time of recording. So let's enter in a prompt. So our prompt is a cat standing on the edge of an Olympic diving board with the crowd in the background. We can also add an asset. As you can see, we can scroll down. We can see a different advanced model parameters. We can see an output format. We can do positions. Like I said, this tool is crazy. There's so much it can do. But anyway, let's click generate and it is going to start making our image for us. So you're going to see the image come down here and it is on our timeline bar now. So when I said this is like a video editor, but with AI, I truly mean it. It's absolutely wild, the things you can do here. But here is our cat on a diving board and we can just kind of zoom it up and there it is, right? So we have this beautiful cat now on a diving board. So we can say turn video into, and we can click video here. And now we have the ability to turn our image that we started with into a full-fledged video. Maybe we want to modify the image first. And we said, okay, let's go from image to image and let's use Nano Banana again and let's modify the image a little bit better. You're gonna see the asset is uploaded and now we can say, hey, I want it to look more like a TV broadcast. So the image is going to regenerate for us with a actual TV broadcast style look. So you can see here, we just used Nano Banana to create an image. Now we're using Nano Banana to update the image. And here we go, look at this new world record and there's our little thing, but we want it to be more vertical. So let's delete the original one we had here so we can select it down here and then we can actually hit the delete trash icon here. We're gonna delete it out because we don't need that. We don't wanna have duplicates over and over again. Because you have access to every model, the model that you choose, you have access to additional features. So say we picked Seed Dream 4, you're gonna see we're uploading our asset here, which is the image we have, but then we can choose like the size, we can choose the aspect ratio. So we can say, hey, do we wanna match the image or do we want to change it? And again, it depends on which model you choose because then you're gonna have additional features based off that model. The other thing I want to point out is at the bottom here of our screen, you can see all the different layers that we have of all the different photos and things we've generated. So this is truly a video editor. So we can just like delete the things we don't want, or we can keep the layers we do want, which means we can actually add layers. So this time around, I'm going to hit add track and I want to actually upload an image that I have. So let's hit our source and I'm going to upload an image from my computer here. So I have it here and we can select it. And now I'm going to make my image full screen. So you can see here, this is the background 
of our TV, I am going to take our cat and I want to layer it on top of the TV so the cat is inside of the TV itself. You're going to notice that the corners aren't great, it doesn't look perfect, and we're going to fix that. So we're going to select the image, and on the right, if we go down, we have all these different type of options on the right, so we can adjust the position where it is, we can adjust the size, we can adjust the rotation, even the rounded corner. So say we wanted like medium rounded corners, we can do that and you can see the, what they look like. We can click it again and go down and maybe we want extra large rounded corners and now we can kind of like scale it out and then we'll be able to stretch it wider to fit our TV. All right, so we've cropped our image exactly the way we want it. We have our cat with the old TV. Now we are going to click video. So we're going to turn our little image here into a full-fledged video. We're going to use VO3, but again, you can see all the different options. And just like before, depending on what you pick, there are different options for each one. So VO3, we're going to enter a prompt. Our prompt is a cat on a diving board and an Olympic swimming pool performs a perfect dive into water with a big splash. Again, we can adjust the aspect ratio based off what we have. So we're just going to keep it what it is. We're going to adjust that in a second after we get our asset. But anyway, we can hit generate and you're going to see this image is going to come to life. Because this is all layered, we can do some really cool things here. So we can even animate the background layer with the front ground layer. I want to point out that generating images and videos on Pool Day AI is really fast. So when you click generate, it's pretty quick. And I love that I can literally take this image, crop it, move it around, layer it from one to the next. And then I can literally take that image or video and I can like say, hey, I want this to become that now. So we can use the crop tool. We can crop our video in any which way we want. We can kind of see everything that it's generated down at the bottom. Now we have our video that's been created and we cropped it for our screen. You can kind of see it here. We can click it. We also have our TV, but you'll notice that as soon as we get further ahead, the TV disappears. That's because our bottom layer has to be dragged out. So we can actually just say, do this, drag it over, and it will start filling up the background which is pretty awesome. So let's add another track now. And this time around, we're going to add just a AI video. So let's try this again. But this time around, let's just kind of move it all the way over. And I'm going to place it beside this track here. So this becomes its own thing. And now because we have all these different models we can pick from and their feature set, we can pick Coolio 2.0. We can add a first frame. So if we want it, we can take this frame here. This is the exact frame at the end of the last shot. We can screenshot this and then we can jump ahead, add this as the asset, and then we can continue the exact continuation from the TV forward. Now we can click generate and we are going to generate the next scene of our shot. Some of the other features I want to talk about is this like editor agent thing. So you can say, hey, make the image track extend the entire video. So we have this little image track at the bottom. It wasn't extending the entire video. I can quickly say, hey, editor agent, help me out here, extend the entire thing. And you can see here it took a minute 43, but it did it. And you can see exactly what it was able to do. So it said, hey, we're going to extend the background image and we're going to go from 7.93 seconds to the full 13.93 seconds instead, adding six seconds of coverage. So we can actually just use natural language to edit our videos, which is just wild to me, but it gets even cooler because we can hit the style guide here and then we can give it an entire style prompt and say, hey, this is my style of editing. This is what I want. So now imagine you can come here, you can upload a bunch of your own clips, a bunch of your own videos, own whatever you want. And then you can go to the editor agent and say, hey, can you edit the video where no one's talking, where it's really silent? And can you chop it up and combine it all back together so you get rid of all the quiet parts? And that will make editing substantially quicker just off the start. And you can come up with more elaborate prompts to make your editing and your style a lot better for what you want. So I think that is really cool. You'll also notice that I have a voice thing going. It's generating a voice because I have no audio for this one clip here and I want to add in some audio so it can go in nicely and you'll see how it all kind of comes together. After some back and forth using all the different AI tools that I showed you in this video and using the editor agent, generating videos, layering things, moving things around, adding audio, images, video, converting images into videos, all from one single tool, I'm able to create the little video that you saw in the intro, which I will show you again here. But before I do that, I wanna show you how you can actually render this. So it's as simple as hitting render video. It is going to use one credit. So 
when you're using this platform, it's a really interesting model because the credits is based off your render, not your generation. So I can go through, I can render everything, say, hey, okay, this is what I want. And now I'm going to use a credit to actually like render the final video. So we can hit render now and it is going to start rendering our video. It says our render has started successfully. If I move, it's right here. And now you can actually click in the top here. You can see renders and you're going to see our render is happening and it's going. And also what is really cool is if you come down to the bottom here, there's keyboard shortcuts. So you can actually like really utilize this platform and really use it as a video editor. And also there is live help. So they are very good at answering questions along the way if you need any questions answered. So you can do that as well. An absolutely flawless execution from the orange cat with a perfect entry that barely made a ripple. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the dive that will win him the gold medal. For those who made it this far into the video, thank you. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Like the video, it tells algorithm you enjoy this type of content. Also, I have a discount code for you, which gets you 30% off for the first two months. Like I said, the pricing model of this tool is really good. And the fact that how it works and you can work with all these different tools makes it a must have, in my opinion, if you're doing any type of video creation, video editing, I think Pool Day AI is phenomenal. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. As always, I'd love to know what you think on these tools that I cover, because I mean, that's why I like doing these videos. I like covering different tools. I like to get your thoughts on what you think about them. So let me know what your thoughts are down below. Drop that comment, like the video, subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with another AI video.